Can we once again have a look at a photo? So this photo was taken on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. That photo then made its way to the local paper, and I'll give them a shout-out a little bit later. It then made its way to the front page of the Newcastle Herald today. And when I was putting together PM and the AM, which is the daily podcast where I go through, among other things, the papers that are around every single morning, this photo just stuck with me. And I couldn't help but think, what the hell is the story behind this photo? Because this looks like something that, frankly, is posed. It's like a Hollywood thing. But no, it is. The story is incredibly simple of a little girl, the light, and a dad who was able to quickly grab his iPhone. The father, Robert Dixon. We had a chance to chat to him from his Port Macquarie home a bit earlier today. Uh, well, Paul, firstly, I'm, I'm definitely not a professional photographer or anything like that. Um, and yes, I did take it on my phone, um, but I am a keen photographer. I've been doing it for a lot of years, um, but I think I was an ex extremely lucky to um, take the shot that I did the other day. So is it, is it at all posed? Did you, did you tell your daughter to stand there? You saw the image, you took a, once you knew she was safe, you stepped back a little, or is this all just in the moment? It was pretty much in the moment, mate. Um, I picked up my children from, from school in the afternoon and when we arrived home, um, uh, it was dark in the house. There was a lot of smoke. The sky was unbelievably red. And, um, and my daughter just happened to be standing near the front door and I had my phone in my hand and I pretty much just turned around and, and snapped a shot. And what you see is pretty much how it was. So it was quite extraordinary how it just sort of played into my hands like that, really. Well, so how close is the fire? I mean, the way that the image looks is just phenomenal. But, um, you know, clearly, as you said, your joint's OK now. But what the hell was happening out the front? How close was that fire? Well, it, it, it's, it is quite deceiving. Um, a lot of people have assumed that the fire was just out the front door, but it, it actually wasn't. Um, it was just the colour of the sky. There was so much fire going on and so much smoke. It just created this unbelievably eerie, almost otherworldly kind of look. And um, it was really, really terrifying. The, the fires were quite a long way from us. I think the nearest ones were around about five kilometres, but all the surrounding areas were, were pretty badly affected. Um, but thankfully, we were, we were safe, but it was just a very, um, a very eerie and unnerving um, sort of look about the sky and everything. Well, that's what's amazing. And let's, if we can have a look at the photo again, um, I mean, so everyone needs to see that this is basically a daytime sun through the filter of smoke that comes from fires that are not too far from where you are in Port Macquarie. Mix that with the darkness inside the house. That's what makes it look like the trees on fire right outside. That is a, that is a phenomenal series of planets aligning, isn't it? It, it certainly is. Um, I... I had to almost pinch myself when I looked back at it. I thought, oh, my goodness, that's, that's quite striking. Robert Dixon is his name. I want to get this right here too. And a big shout out to the Camden Haven Courier, which is a local paper in and around the mid-north coast, because uh, Patrick took that photo, sent it to the local paper. The local paper uh, publishes it. They found it at the Newcastle Herald, ended up on the front page. But what a phenomenal effect that you can get. And thankfully, it was not fire at the door. Instead, reflection through uh, smoke of the sun, which meant, thankfully, that little girl not in trouble, but they've got a photo now. They can hang on the wall. And if it does what it should do, they should even win a freaking award for it. It's absolutely beautiful.